Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping businesses across the province grow through export. For more information, novascotiabusiness.com. Snow. It can be winter's gift and be winter's curse. And when there's a storm, it can be very hard to figure out where to put it all. When you've got too much snow, it's usually either trucked to a vacant property until it melts or dumped into a body of water. But that isn't just expensive. It can also be detrimental to the environment. That's where Trecan Combustion in Halifax, Nova Scotia comes in. Trecan is the number one snow melter manufacturer in the world. And airports, large cities and shopping malls around the globe have become dependent on the Trecan technology. Trecan's submerged combustion technology uses a combustion air fan and giant burners to agitate and heat a tank of water. The warm water then sprays onto the dumped snow to quickly and efficiently melt it. The Trecan technology is 98% efficient and wastes very little energy. Trecan makes stationary as well as mobile models that can be transported by truck. Each melter is designed and built at the Trecan factory from scratch. With over 35 years of experience, each Trecan snow melter starts at the design phase. Using computer-based design software, skilled engineers are able to adjust the design of each project to match a client's specific needs and requirements. Melters can be designed to run on gas, diesel oil, or jet fuel, allowing for multiple configurations. Once a melter has been designed to suit a client's needs, the plans make their way to the construction floor. Here, steel is rolled, cut, welded, and bent. to create the various parts required for each snow melter. First, the frame of the melter is welded from large steel beams. This frame will have locally sourced wheels and axles attached and will be used to tow it from location to location. The melting tank, which is where the snow will be dumped for melting, is welded separately by an experienced welding crew. Each piece is measured and welded to exact specifications. Once complete, the melting tank is welded to the frame. The rest of the snow melter is constructed around the tank. Railings are bent and cut. Seams are welded. And edges are ground smooth. The construction process is very laborious. And welders will work for about five weeks building the engine room as well as all other aspects of the snow melter. Quality control technicians also check the welding throughout construction to ensure everything is measured and welded correctly. The engine room roof is built separately. Thin metal paneling is first bent to shape
then glued to a steel bar frame. The industrial glue is actually stronger than rivets or screws and provides a strong waterproof seal. Once the welding construction is complete, it's time for the entire snow melter to be painted. Large sections are painted separately. This painting process can take about a week to be completed. Once the structure is complete, it's time to install the various components, such as the electrical system. The electrical system is completely manufactured by hand and not only includes many meters of wiring, but also includes a large amount of electronic circuitry, such as cell phone technology that allows tree can technicians to access and troubleshoot any snow melter anywhere in the world. This snow melter uses two different burners that will be used to melt the snow. One is used to cold start the snow melter, while the other starts once the melter is in full production. The engine room or equipment enclosure sits at the back of the snow melter and houses the electronics as well as a large combustion engine and a giant blower. The combustion engine is used to run the blower, which agitates the water in order for it to be quickly heated. Once the engine and blower have been installed, the roof is weatherproofed and then lowered into place. Although tree can snow melters can run on a variety of fossil fuels, this snow melter is bound for the United States and will house a diesel fuel tank. Once construction is complete, the snow melter is shipped to the client and is ready for many years of use.